Welcome back to the Gusky. I am Gray, and today we have the final match of the season. We are at home versus KTP, and actually, in between this match and the last one, um, the African region, or oh, well, yeah, I was gonna say, I guess it is all of Africa, like the African region dates, the youth intake, um, hit. So, there is some stuff I did take a look at that. There are some players that are actually kind of interesting. Um, and some of them come pretty cheap. It's kind of hit or miss sometimes in Africa. Some places cost quite a bit of money. And some of them are like dirt cheap, like super cheap. I mean, I've played, or I've played, I've bought players for like 5,000, you know, like super cheap, super, super cheap. But anyway, um, it is what it is. I am still, like I said, taking a look at those. I don't have, um, I don't have anything definite yet. I just like just a few bids and, you know. Just trying to play with a little bit of money that we do have. Just seeing what's what's out there, what we can do, what we can handle, and all that good shit. Um anyway, here's what we're looking at. Um pretty much everyone's back. Um Hogblum is still out with a injury and same thing with Hanan, so I'm not too really up too not too really upset. Not too upset really. Um Oyala obviously is back up front because Harala's back. So is Nermela and what could very possibly be his last game. Interesting thing to talk about regarding him. His contract actually let me go let me go show you that real quick. Um oh where can I find that? Uh let's go right here. Right right here with the contract where where that is. Um he's on a full time contract. Um oh it doesn't tell me what his role is. Cause that's really what I was looking for. Um, anyway, we'll go here. Uh, ch -ch 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 players will work. No, that's not the one I want. I want this right here. I don't want to look at all that. Yeah, here we go. Um, squad status. Where are you, Nermela? Alright, uh, he's kind of a backup right now. But he's also on this weird staff contract. Actually, it might be over here where we can find it yeah there we go he's on a player director thing now i now i don't have any say as to whether or not you know i can fire a director as you can see here because you have the director right there and another one right here i can't touch these guys these guys are just kind of there same thing with the managing director and chairman those are just things that are automated that i can't play with i can play with the director of football but that's it um I don't know when or if he's going to retire. So, that makes things a little interesting. Um, it makes things very interesting. Um, like I said, he's because he's kind of on a large contract. Personally, I would just dump him or ask him to retire or re-sign him as a staff only. But I can't even do that right now. If you actually go in here, I can't even go. I can transfer him, set transfer status, set for release. Um... I may actually save the game and try that and see what that does um, and not re-sign him just to see if he stays on as a director. I would assume he will um, as much as I like Mika Nermela, um, but you know, at 42 years old um, and if he's taking up that big of a contract out of my weekly contract for all the other players, which I assume he is, that's kind of a handicap right now. Oh, hit the desk a little bit there. Sorry about that. But anyhow... Um, yeah, and also, like I said, I mean, at his age, obviously, he's just only going to decline, although he's obviously one of our best players. But anyway, um, like I said, I may get up to the date where his contract ends, save, and just let it end, and see what happens, see if he stays on. Personally, I like kind of signing players if I can um, to staff positions after after their playing days are done, just because I kind of like that, and there's some sentimental value in that. But anyway, um, it is what it is, and like I said, the Hopefully, hopefully I can just kind of let him go and he'll still be on as a director. Like I said, I don't even know what that job entails with this club because this is the first club I've ever had that had that position. Um, in fact, like when I, on my Galway file, the only person that's on there is the chairman that I can't play with. There's no managing directors, no, nothing else. Everything else is just, it's, he's the only one that's higher up there above me, I guess is the way to say it. But anyway, um... Which is actually kind of interesting, considering if Nermela is in a position like that, you know, and yet he's not still listening to me as a player. Eh, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, um, we'll definitely miss him going into next season. 
that's for sure. But, you know, like I said, it's not that big a deal. Um, let's do that. We'll go with that. The carry on straight from where you finished last match, boys. And then, hopefully, we win. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's kind of just kind of what I'm looking at as, in, in terms of uh, contract stuff. There are still, like I said, a lot of contracts that are kind of um, yeah, the contracts that I did sign. Um, the, the free agents that we did sign, um, oh my, that was a nice little one-time shot there, nice volley. But, um, the players that I did sign aren't on all that bad of contracts. Like I said, uh, probably the worst one is, is, uh, Murata Mal. Like I said, we'll probably look to move him. Um, just because, like I said, the pricing and all that good shit. Um... You know, because he's, you know, like I said, he's worth a little bit of money right now. So see if we can make some bank off of that and sign some players that we do want. Preferably central defenders, especially if we can reinvest there. That's really what I'm hoping for. Oh, really? Anyhow. Oh, is he on side? Is he so good? No, no, no. But anyhow. Um, clear it. There you go. Don't fucking stand over it, you dummy. Jesus. Like I said, not really, not really a whole lot um, left to say. I mean, like I said, I, I actually was able to get a really good price for one player, and I'm gonna try real hard to sign him here. Um, I, like I said, I did, I did, uh, I did find a really good price for one. So I mean, hoping, hoping we can squeeze him in. And oh boy, I thought that was a goal. Thought we had another goal off a set piece, but no was not to be and also like I said there's one there's an African player an African goalkeeper who looked pretty good um I can't scout him so I, that's why I can only offer him a trial right now which is weird which is very weird actually he's only on an amateur contract too so like I said I kind of stumbled upon him while I was looking through the final through the youth intakes and I was like oh well what the hell otherwise I would just bid for him straight up because he has no value at all that's why I that's why I raised some eyebrows. I was like, wait a minute. But, um, like I said, I offered a trial to him. We'll see if he, you know, takes all the good shit. And, I, and like I said, I do have a, oof, I do have a, um, I didn't change the responsibilities of the director of football, so he'll take over all that stuff. So, yeah, there's that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't really have anything, uh, Anything else for you? But anyhow, like I said, it'll, it'll be alright. It will be okay, I hope. I said, there's a couple players, even one on a club that's actually, I'm trying to steal one guy from uh, this one kid from the team that's going down from the first division, or from the blah, 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 from the uh, premier division. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see if he actually comes at a cut rate once they actually do go down. That's one thing that's kind of fuzzy. You actually have to wait for a specific date for things to kind of, for for that to kind of take effect, for your reputation to be increased, for their reputation to go down, for you to actually get your money, you know, that the club is willing to reinvest, all that good shit. Um, you know, you have to kind of wait for a certain date. That's one thing that really sucks. You know, so basically, I'm gonna go through like the entire off season, all this time. Oh Jesus. Nice block, though. I'll, I'll take that. You can go through the entire offseason. All this time, months, actually. A couple months, like a month and a half, where I should be doing all this scouting and, and signing and all that, all these negotiations and shit like that, where I should be doing all that, but I can't because I don't have the official influx. I wish they would actually inject that into the team at the end of the season, as soon as you play your last game or a couple days after, so that... See, there it is again. Is that fucking shit right there? God... Damn it, am I pissed off at that? Like, just fucking why? 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 Anyhow, at least it didn't lead to a fucking goal yet. See how that shit just kind of like starts popping up all of a sudden? Like, we didn't see much of that 
but like maybe once or twice at the cold course of the season. All of a sudden, two games in a row. Same fucking thing happens. But anyhow, I'm a dick. And I'm not happy with the way they're playing. Really, they weren't playing very well. They should be playing better. God damn it. It is the last match of the season. Oh, by the way, um, I didn't mention this, but the last match where we beat uh, Yippo 4-1 um, was a fan day or whatever. So it's just one of those things where, you know, the game will do shit to, you know, you know reduce ticket prices or whatever. Some cutesy little bullshit and, you know, hopefully bring in uh, some, some, more, uh, some more fans. Um, gradually, attendance will increase. We also have a pretty large stadium. I mean, it's, I want to say it's like eight or 10,000, something like that, which is pretty big. Might be as big as like 14,000, if I remember right. I'm not sure, which, like I said, is pretty, it's a pretty decent sized stadium. Um, yeah, damn it. Really? Oh, just fucking tackling, Jesus. But, uh, I, I think, I think it's that big. I could be wrong. I could be thinking of another another club that I was playing that had a had a pretty good sized stadium to start out, but I think ours is decent sized. I'll have to go check. But um our our attendance will obviously increase the better we get and the more we win, all that good shit. Um but what they did in the last game was they had a little, you know, where all the tickets are cut price and you, know, you see extra fans and if you actually do put on a good show which we did, you know, um, that tends to increase, gives you a little bonus to your, um, to your attendance for a while. Um, and in the long run, too, you know, you, you win over new fans, all that sort of bullshit. So, that, that is a nice positive from, you know, the game we had last time. Nice little positive. Because I have had, it, it seems to curse me every time, you know, they have a match like that, you know, one of those little fan days or whatever. We always go out there and we win like one nothing, or you know we draw zero zero or some stupid shit like that. It's it always pisses me off. Of course, the one time that I don't realize it too is like you know the, the time we put on a good show and you know, win. Oh my god, really, guys? Yeah, we're just all over the fucking place here in this game. It's a good thing this is the last match of the season too. Oh, say after he was so good in the last one. He's just fucking piss poor again today. Um. Ooh. There's just like no. Oh Jesus. No, uh, no continuity right now, in any of our passing, any of our movements. I mean, look, look at their possession. I mean, they've got 60% of the ball. I mean, they're just, you know, doing whatever the hell they feel like doing. And there's the goal. God damn it. Uh, this has been something that's kind of been irritating me a lot too. Uh, it's like that last match of the season where it's just to send the fans home on a high and all that good shit. We just keep fucking it up. I mean, just keep fucking it up like this. I mean, where like you'll get lucky if you draw 1 1 or some fucking shit like that. But every time you just go out there and just. I don't know how the fuck KTP comes into our place and is all fucking up to play and, and we just don't even fucking give a shit. I mean, I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to say in, in times like these because it's like, you know, yeah, I said this, you know, I'm, I pointed out that this is, you know, an important game and all that shit. Not, hey guys, go ahead, have some fun. No shit like that. I you don't know, out there and demanded a performance of them and then just fucking shirk away from it. It irritates me. I mean, once again, I mean, that's that's one of those things, that's one of those professional things where, I mean, you know, yeah, you know okay, fine. If you, if if you lose, that's fine. But, you know, don't go out there and get pushed around like the kind of are. I mean, you know, no, this is completely a completely lackluster performance. I mean, just fucking terrible. And I am going to make some fucking substitutions because I'm just... I don't even want to fucking watch it anymore. <laughs> Quite honestly. I guess Gronholm will come in and we'll put fucking... Yeah, let me just look at that. Just all up and down and Hinkley yeah, has been fucking terrible all season. But... You know, as I've said before, I don't have a fucking choice, really. I mean, I I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with some of these players. You know, when you don't have when you don't have depth, and that's once again one of the 19 different fucking reasons why I like having depth. You know, when when, when you don't have it, it's you know situations like these where players don't perform well. As I've said before, we're not a great defender defenders anyhow. But I mean, you know, you you just you just stuck. You have to fucking stick with them. 
Because, I mean, if you put the next guy in there, who is not, you know, I mean, you know, nowhere near good enough. And that's something, too. I mean, you know, when we, when we get to the fucking Christ, seriously. I gotta fucking take him off, too. Or take off the other one and move him, but fucking whatever. I don't know. And it doesn't fucking matter anyway. I mean, they're gonna have two fucking months off, so. Yeah, I don't even have. I don't even have a substitution for that. I don't even put. Yeah, fuck it. Just fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. If you can't tell, I'm a little irritated at this point. I mean, it's just. Like I said, there's no reason to come on here. I know. KTP has been playing halfway decent lately, but there's no reason to come out here and just fucking stink it up like this. And then somehow they got a fucking corner on that. I mean, fucking seriously. Uh, we'll, we'll be fortunate if we get out of here with a one nothing loss, quite honestly. I mean, we haven't been... We haven't been very good. And as I said before, a lot of this too has, has something to do with like, oh fuck. A lot of this has stuff to do with us not having our players. Um, I have noticed there is a big difference in that. I mean, you do get, you do get different performances between those players. And some of them just don't, don't really work well with what we've got going on. I have noticed that too, like I said, with my Viking squad, I have one guy who's actually pretty versatile that I did sign. But, I mean, just... He just doesn't hasn't been able to cope very well with the way we play, which is which is kind of shocking considering I mean he's kind of like I said he's he's a versatile player who can play a lot of different defensive positions for me. But he just you know it, it just doesn't it just doesn't work out. He goes out there and plays like shit every time, and I don't fucking know why. It's actually kind of I mean I actually had to play him for a while too out of necessity because I had no other central defenders um, due to. Well, international call-ups and had a couple injuries, I think, at the time. So I had to play him for a while back there, and and you know, and that's kind of what I had him for too, was to have extra coverage, so you can kind of, like I said, play in defensive midfield. And I was trying to say, just got signed. Well, it's not like it fucking matters. If that would have mattered in the fourth fucking minute, that would have been great. And now you know, you're getting this fucking, uh, yeah, that. And that free kick, whatever that was supposed to fucking be. Yep, yeah, just go ahead. Keep passing that. And just keep going that way. And the only reason why we're keeping the ball is because we're up in main right now. Yeah, what the fuck? Alright. That was an awfully strange and abrupt way to um, go into the, your, your simulated shit there. Uh, I hate how he takes those long touches. He doesn't have the pace to run after, really. Oh, wow, Nermela. Not snuck that one in there. I'm not gonna lie, it'll be a fucking miracle if we manage to draw here. I don't think we will. I mean, there's no, obviously, there's no time. And no time left, really. It's one of the reasons why I wish they did have, like, the little, the little sideline talks, but I have a feeling, though, it'd, it'd do more harm than good because, you know. Obviously, these these guys don't really perform all that well to this sort of, uh, you know, expected performance. Oh, Jesus. You know, when you expect a performance out of them for the sake of the fans and shit like that, they don't really perform all that well. And that does seem to be kind of a... How the fuck is he offside? That does seem to be kind of a theme in this game, too. I mean, whenever you give that team talk, I, I haven't really had much luck with it in general. But, um... I guess we really didn't give that team talk. I mean, that was more of the media shit, but... Like I said, uh... You know, it doesn't seem to work fucking seriously. He had that right to his feet. I mean, he couldn't be... He couldn't be fucking closer to you, and he controls that perfectly. Like, fucking serious? At least we don't get screwed like we did in F-15. That was kind of... That's... That was kind of bullshit. That was a bit annoying. But anyhow, I mean, we're almost done here. Now to be the end of our season. We ended on a loss, but... You know, I'm all fucking whistling. I'm ready this shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> Here's this. <laughs> Here's this. How's this for a way to send you away? There you go, fuckers. Get out of here. 
fucking well and we do end with six points at the top between us and ktp so you know there's there's that um and i would i would honestly put that one put put that um put that that result down to our um Oh fuck, I don't even remember what I was gonna say anymore. I was gonna say something that was gonna be profound as fuck, but anyway. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Um like I said, the next episode you'll see of this is a recap episode of everything that happened in the off season. All the off season acquisitions. Um I will turn over the entire staff most likely as well. You will be updated on that. Um and that's pretty much it. Then we'll, um, I won't obviously do any of the preseason games. I think I've said that before. That's kind of boring to watch. But, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll get into it. I'll show you all the players that we, that we were able to sign and all that good stuff. Anyhow, uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next season.